Is it good or bad? First, let's look at the bad aspects of sex, such as STDs, rape, unwanted pregnancy, and teen pregnancy. Let's get started. Since the early 200s, people have been having sex all over the world. Of those people, all of them got pregnant. The male body is made up of approximately 90% semen, which is why people can get pregnant while kissing. Actually, the best way to prevent pregnancy isn't birth control, abstinence, or using a condom. It's shouting the words, NO BABY, at the point of climax. Just kidding, these statements are not real and should not be taken seriously because we don't want to be responsible for any pregnancies within the classroom. The first bad aspect of sex is STDs. Nearly 20 million people are affected by STDs per year. These include chlamydia, gonorrhea, herpes, syphilis, HIV, and AIDS. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention estimates that there are more than 110 million STDs among men and women in the U.S. This includes both new and existing infections. Nearly one in four high school students contract an STD every year. Young people between the ages of 15 and 24 account for 50% of all new STDs, although they just re represent 25% of the sexually experienced population. The worst part about STDs is that you have to tell everyone that you have one, which limits your ability to create relationships. Jack, I just gotta tell you, I have gonorrhea. Rape is the most underreported crime in America. Women are more commonly the victims of this crime. About 300,000 women are raped every year, and of that 300,000, 54% of the rapes are not reported. 32,000 of unwanted pregnancies have been reported as a result of this rape. No football. last night. Who is he? Oh. oh, what happened? Attending a party where there may be drugs or alcohol present, you can quickly become intoxicated and impair your mental capability to make decisions for yourself. This can lead to further incidences of rape or sexual violence or abuse. The next bad aspect of sex is unwanted pregnancy. The only sure way to prevent this is abstinence. Otherwise, you can use birth control or condoms. About 43 million women are at risk of unintended pregnancy. That is, they are sexually active and do not want to become pregnant, but could become pregnant if they and their partners fail to use a contraceptive method correctly and consistently. Couples who do not use any method of contraception have an approximately 85% chance of experiencing a pregnancy over the course of a year. The typical US woman wants only two children, to achieve this goal, she must use contraceptions for roughly three decades. Condoms. Condoms also help prevent STDs, as well as being a contraception. In one year, only two of every 100 couples who use condoms consistently and correctly will experience an unintended pregnancy. <laughs> Another bad thing about sex is teen pregnancy. 3 in 10 teen American girls will get pregnant before the age of 20. More than 50% of teen moms will drop out of high school. Nearly half of high school students have reported ever having sexual intercourse. A sexually active teen who does not use contraceptives has a 90% chance of becoming pregnant within a year. At 
first I did want to get pregnant. I wanted to be famous. I wanted to be on that Teen Mom show. Oh, well, lucky thing I have Benny here. He's so supportive. I know all the other girls who get pregnant. Normally they don't have a boyfriend who's supportive. Benny! Where are you going, Benny? Benny! Oh. Now I've got to manage this baby all on my own. I had to drop out of high school. I had to find a job. I've gotten a lot of fights with my mom now because, you know, everything's just gotten a lot harder ever since I had this unplanned baby. It's too bad that Benny left. Now let's go over the good reasons for having sex. First of all, it helps you express love for your partner. If it feels good, it's a good way to relieve stress, and it's healthy. It can also help you feel closer with your partner. And you can have children if you're married. Plan pregnancy this time. Thanks for a little chat. See you next time. Adios. Yo. First, let's look at the bad aspects of S. Of S. Oh, like get that out. The sex or STDs. No, you know what? Let's look at the good aspects of STDs. <laughs> oh. ah. It's still recording, so. <laughs> <laughs> We're having all this in uh, We should have bloopers at the end. Yeah. Here, we see a wild jack in the ah. habitat. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna. This tripod's terrible. It's probably from mother. <gasps> Mom? I'm a jack still. <laughs> what if God was one Bye. of us? Yep. Okay, bud. Like a Bye. sinner, like one of us. <laughs> the first bad. No, no. <laughs> okay, go now. The first bad. <laughs> Stop! Benny, go lock Stop yourself in the room. Stop <laughs> Go stand out you in the... You set the football down. I keep thinking that you're going to throw it at me, so I'm like... Productivity with these guys is impossible. <laughs> Benny, go outside and stand up. The bad aspect of sex is STDs. 20 million people are affected by STDs per year. These include chlamydia, gonorrhea, herpes, syphilis, HIV, and AIDS. The same. <laughs> Shut up, you idiot! <laughs> Jack, I just gotta let you know. <laughs> Catch the ball. <laughs> You're a winner. Rape is the most underreported. <laughs> Jack did in on this. This is gonna be. Doesn't matter. Okay, go. <laughs> I need to readjust now that Benny's been throwing cats on me. Benny's just throwing cats. Benny, wake up. Benny has to wake up too, right? Wait, what do I do? Yeah, so just wake up and be like, oh, what happened, man? I'll do like, that was awesome. Why you got beer on your legs, man? You smell like Holmes. <laughs> you smell like the hobo okay, I ready? totally did in the back Come of my shut Prius. Up. The Prius. Papa. No, Roy. Alright, we're doing it. Let's do this again. Alright, alright. Here, you want the ball? Yeah. Hold it like a... Oh, there's no pillow there. Oh, don't pull. You look like a Buddha. <laughs> yeah, yes. Okay, Jack, will start. All right, ready? Yeah, I like it too. Take my knife. It looks so majestic. Take my knife. <laughs> <sighs>